Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I've got some really exciting things to share with you. So it was recently my birthday and I had to laugh actually when this one was given to me. So I have this one, let me show you. So this is Mary. Now Mary got introduced to you all a few months ago and um, I found her in a charity shop, fell in love with her and she now holds all of my ribbon scraps. She actually needs a good sort out and I think I might start using her for something else because I don't like the way the ribbons are just like that. Anyway, and I just love them. They're lovely storage pieces and I've got a very quirky craft room and I just, yeah, I like things like this. I don't like conventional storage things. I either make them or I use things that aren't intended to be used for how they, they are. Does that make sense? Anyway, so yeah, this is the one I love and I got it in a charity shop local. And then I went in the charity shop a little while after, and it's always that thing, you see them everywhere now, I'm seeing more and more of these swans, but I thought I don't need any more, this one is fine, she's really pretty, and I, yeah, I really like her, but then I did see this other one, and um, I was with my mum, and she said, oh look, and I was like, oh it's so lovely, I said no, can't have another one, got no room for it, don't need it, anyway, it's still there, it's still there, every time we go in, there's that swan, there's that swan, so what happened, I opened up a birthday present, and here is this one, and she is beautiful. I love the um, gold features on her eyes and her nose. So it was really funny, because I named this one Mary. I then said, so what duos do you know? Like Mary and who? And I kept thinking of Mary and Joseph. And then my mum said, Chris. Now some of you, well, all of you will be going, Chris. Well, my mum's two best friends are Mary and Chris, and the three of them have just been the best of friends for decades. So she's called Chris or Christine. So this is Mary and we have Christine. Um, I absolutely love her. I'm gonna make room for her, of course, but I'm probably gonna have them displayed like that so they're looking at each other. Oh, that I know there's gonna be loads of you going, these are awful, Sam, but I'm sure there's many of you as well that can see why I love them. And uh, yeah, she's actually a lot more open. So I need to, I need to have, I'm, I'm planning on another little sort out in my craft room because I go through phases and now I'm like using other things and they're kind of more packed away. So I need to bring them out. So I want to have something in here that I maybe grab or I don't want it on my desk because I don't really have the room and it will kind of just cause too much clutter around me. But um, I want them to be somewhere you know, nice, and I want to put a nice little bow around her neck because I added that one there and I think it looks really pretty. So yeah, this is Mary and Chris. Now they've got, you know, they're back together again. So maybe I should find another one and that'd be Julie, which is my mum, and then I've got all three of them. So anyway, that was just a little bit of something fun I thought I would share. So I'm just gonna pop them there. I also got this amazing mug, <laughs> which I've got a nice hot cup of tea in there while I was filming. It's brilliant. My sister got me this. She, I love these, um, Oh, what do you call them? Um, what do you call them? My, my mind's gone, I'll think of it in a minute anyway. All right, this is the next thing that I'm really excited to share. I'm gonna do a separate video on this. It might have even gone up before this video. Now, I've been using foam board a lot recently in the last, I'd say maybe last three months. And I done, I've done quite a few projects, but some of you find it really easy and other people have been finding real challenges cutting foam board. And I'm seeing it regularly, you know, kind of mentioned in our craft group. And um, there, there has been a tool that I've seen, but it's really expensive. And I thought there has to be just something else out there. And I was looking again on Amazon and this one's come from China. I'll share the Amazon link that I've used. And basically it will cut a 45 degree and a 90 degree. So that's the two that you need really. The 45 degree is your straight right angle. And that's the one that I commonly use, but it also does that 90 degree, which would have been perfect for when I was creating like the roof and I got that kind of angled cut. So, and this is what it is. And what you do is you use it with your metal ruler. So underneath here, you've got like a little kind of piece where it will stop. So you would line your ruler up. Here's your blade here. So yeah, you do it like so. Obviously measure with a pencil, mark it where you need to cut and stuff. Then with, use the ruler then as a guide to keep it where it needs to be. But what this does is you can bring it down as far as you need to. So you don't need to bring it down too far, it's very sharp. The one thing is I don't know how you get replacement blades for this. I paid. Five, $4.99 or $5.99, and it, I, I'm sure it's free postage. Um, and then, so I'll pretend the blade's down because I haven't got any foam board here. And it will cut up to a depth of, it did say, oh, seven millimeters, and the foam board I use is five. So it's, it, again, it was perfect. But then you just cut straight down. 
So you're going to get a perfect cut, it's going to be completely straight and at the right angle, um, and it's easy. So, because I still want to keep using the foam board, but I'm con I was concerned that some people are struggling, I don't want anybody wasting their money, I don't want people throwing projects away. When I saw this I thought I need to get it and I need to share it with people because I think a lot of you are going to really find this a really handy thing to have. And then here's your other blade that comes down, you can see it comes down on that angle just there. So again, you would put that on, let me work this out, so it would go, how would you do that one if it's on that side? Well, I guess you would use it there, so you draw your pencil marks, the ruler is your guide to sit it against, so push that blade back up pretend that blade's down and then say I wanted to cut down this line here I would then line it up because you line up this piece here and you can see that through the top here so you just line that up the root is straight with this line here and you just cut but the, the most important part is it's going to cut straight down you're not going to be wonky you still need you know obviously this has got the knives with it so it's you know the sharp knives and that's the the biggest tip I always give is make sure your sharp your knife is very very sharp but I, I did cut some foam ball as soon as I got it, just as a, a trial. I'm waiting for some more foam ball to come. And I'm also going to be cutting all the pieces for my mum. So that's what I'm going to show in the video. So like I said, by the time this goes out, I've either got the foam board or it's not, you know, it will be after this video. So just look out for that one. But um, yeah, it's... Um, I'm really pleased with it. Like I said, it's inexpensive um, and I think it's going to be useful. How long it's going to last, who knows. You may have to see if we can take the blades off and um, sharpen them or maybe there is a uh, replacement blade for them but I didn't see anything with it. But um, anyway, I'm going on too much but that's what it is. So um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Maybe some of you have already got it as well. Um, I'd be interested to, to hear what you think but um, look out for that video when I'm cutting all of that foam board for my mum. Then I picked up some cardstock. So I like to visit. I like to visit Tavistock, which is um, local to me. Um, it's just a really nice little town. It's got lots of charity shops, which I always like to rummage in. It's got some nice places to eat, and it's got a really lovely market. It's indoor. It's not long been newly renovated. Actually, lovely warm heaters. It was so toasty in there when we were looking around. Um, but there's always a really nice craft uh, craft shop in there, and. Um, Every time I go, I always buy something there. So, you know, I know that you can get card stocks for better deals online from the bigger brands, but I think we should all be supporting our local craft shops where we can. So, I, like I said, every time I go, I always like to get something. And I thought I'd get a real nice selection of some pastel colours. It's something I'm lacking because coming out of Christmas, I've got a lot of dark colours, lots of reds and greens. So I've kind of been sorting it all out, I've gone back through a lot of my card stock that I've had from numerous companies and started to colour block it. So um, yeah, I've picked these ones up here. Uh, they're a mix of GSM, they're, they're pretty much all heavyweight though. So I've got 300 in this lovely cornflower blue. Really, really pretty. That was £1.20 for 10 sheets. Then this one here is 250 GSM and it's a pastel lemon. Beautiful. Again, they, they, I've gone for the same kind of you know tone, so they all work well together. This one here is latte. It's 300 GSM, but it's a shimmer. Really, really nice, 10 for a pound. This is pastel blue, so I've got cornflower blue, but then I've got pastel blue. It's borderline gray, um, you know, sitting more towards that end, I would say, and it's 270 GSM, 10 for a pound. Then I got the rose pink. This is 225, so these are the lower GSMs that I've got, but still great for card bases, and this is 10 for a pound. Yes, yeah, it's the Tavistock Pannier Market, and it's open Tuesdays to Saturdays. And then this here, pastel green, I love that pastel green. But I think they work really, really nice together. She's got loads of colours there, there's tons. And um, my mum brought quite a few bits from her as well, brought some a lovely um, couple of lovely stamps, and she's got loads of embellishments and things like that. But they're just really, really nice colours, so I picked those up. Then just outside the market, they have a really lovely haberdashery shop. Again, it's just one of those places you just love to work in. It's like you walk in there and it just hugs you. There's just wool and fabric and just so much lovely stuff all around you. And they have heaps. They have patterns. They have stuff literally from floor to ceiling. It is absolutely packed. But they had a sale on their fabrics. And one thing I've promised myself this year is I'm going to start making some Christmas gifts 
within the next few months and I'm going to put them away and um, because I, I kind of rushed a few bits this year I made a beautiful stocking for my best friend's little baby or little boy he's well he's 18 months now um, and I personalised it I put his name on it and I didn't I for, totally forgot to share it actually what I'll do is when I see it next time or if she's got it at hand I'll take a photo of it and I'll post it but I wanted to make um, some more stockings so I picked up this here let me just move that out of the way because I don't want to get any tea on it so here you've got this pattern on the back so you can make this style front and back and I like this one because I've got room here to again have the name I love putting names on stockings and um, I can put some ribbon for a hook or something like that and I always um, pad mine as well they're fully lined I really enjoy making them and I can make them pretty quick now so it shouldn't, you know, it won't take me too long. But I just thought it was really nice images. And again, this is going to be for a boy. And I know, you know, little boys can wear any colours. So can little girls. I'm totally for that. But it has got the little blue scarf there around the, the cat. So um, I just, I thought that was quite nice. So on that side, that is that. And then on this side, you've got this really colourful one, which again, I need it for a boy. So I thought this is going to work really well because you've got the blue and you've got the sky there. But you've also got that room at the top to be able to do the name. I just thought they were really nice. So I got that for £6.75. So what's that, £3 something? I mean, you know, it's a lovely gift for uh, for pennies. So I'm really pleased with that one. It's got beautiful images there. They're both the same. It's just a repeat. repeat. But anyway, so yeah, I just saw that and I thought that was a bargain. And then I picked up this fabric. I'm actually going to use this one, I think, for myself. I want to make some more Christmas cushions. And I just loved this print. And I like to do pom-pom trim. So I'm going to look for some red pom-poms or red pom-pom trim which is easy to get hold of but I want you know quite a bit of it because I just love the red I want to pull out the red so it's very Christmassy so I'm going to do hopefully I'll get two two nice sized cushions out of this because I like mine the big size and then pad it out so it's a real big chunky nice cushion um and then yeah I think I'm going to pull out the red have the pom-pom trim all the way around and then I'm going to have Merry Christmas um with some probably going to do some heat vinyl transfer um, and have it not huge but I need to once I've put the pillow and got it all out then I can look but I'd probably have it maybe going through this section here so you still get all the houses and the snowman but that's quite a nice section to have just something I might um, you know I may decide not to I might even try and do like a gift tag look um, which I've seen on Pinterest which I thought was a really nice idea and you actually make a gift tag out of fabric um, and then I could have Merry Christmas on the gift tag and then it stitches to the top so the the pillow looks like a present. Um, I really like that idea. So yeah, so I just thought it was an absolutely beautiful um, print and this one, this was end of the roll actually. So I got the last piece and I got this for five, five pounds something I think. So yeah, that's what I'm going to look at. So I will post some pictures. I actually posted some pictures of some cushions I made must have been over a year ago now and they were pom-pom trim I just love them and they're really easy quick to make and again make nice gifts so um, if these ones work out well I always then usually post it on like my group chats with my friends and then if they say oh we want some then I'll make them some for Christmas presents so because um, they had loads of other nice fabrics as well but I was drawn to this one um, so I can always go back there and pick up some more fabrics so yeah that was what I got there and then lastly saving the best or last. I've received the brand new latest release from Daisy May Designs. You all know how much I love Claire's drawings and her images and I just love the collections. And these are so cute, really, really are sweet. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to share them with you. So starting off, I've already got some card designs and I will be sharing these very soon, the, the cards. Um, this is all available on the website. Claire's stuff does sell out very fast um, and I know that she's going on to Hachanda soon as well so um, yeah grab it while you can if you're a fan of Daisy May Design. So first of all we've got this one here which is Fairy good friend um, or for a very good friend and it's the lantern elf stamp set so you can see there she's got the lantern really really cute and it says spread your wings and then you've got the die to match love that one this one here is the toadstool oh, love this toadstool brilliant one there so easy to color and this is called the toadstool seat stamp set so you can sit her on top of the toadstool um, and then you've also got your pumpkins there so that's going to work really well for your autumnal cards and going into um, Halloween Thanksgiving and things like that so you can certainly use them there but I'm going to change the color of mine 
and I'm going to incorporate them all together. So yeah, that's the Toadstool one, really lovely. This is one of my favourites, this is adorable. So there is your die to go with it as well. And it's so cute, it's literally the little fairy's clothes hanging on the washing line. The little skirt, the shoes, the hat, those tights are just wonderful. So that for me is more of a background piece. So I'm going to have it in the background and then other of these in the foreground. I think it will look very, very cute. He is another favourite. So this is your pocket elf, but look at him. He reminds me of something from like the 70s or the like early 80s. I'm sure there's somebody that's done something like this. It was a cartoon or something. It's, it's certainly, and I think that's why I'm always drawn to, um, again, these kind of designs because a lot of them do remind me of my childhood. Um, sometimes we need a bit of magic make a wish and then you've got the die there as well and they're really nice sizes and uh, yeah like I said my mind's already buzzing and then this one so they're really cute and it's nice because they sit well together because the way that she's stood she's kind of facing him so you can certainly have those you know together um, sprinkling a little fairy dust your way twinkle again really really cute can't wait to color this then you've got this here which is your autumn leaves die set but if you, so they, that's what you get here, once you start, yes, use your autumnal colours, but once you start using pinks and purples and yellows, you can use these in, in your summer cards easily, especially this like magical, whimsical meadow kind of border. You know, I'm going to colour that in brighter colours. And even with this here, I'm not going to do the colours that you would expect these things to be. I'm going to do them, so like your acorns there, I'm going to do them in bright colours. You've even got that ladder. There's a little wooden ladder. It's like a fairy ladder. And you've got dies for all of it. Again, I cannot wait to start making cards. The cards that I make with these are always so popular with my friends. I gave them all, do you remember the shaker cards? They all had those for Christmas cards and I gave them to them all at the same time because we all went out for drinks. Um, and they all loved them so much. They were like shaking them and they were just like looking at every bit of detail. They really enjoyed them. So they do always go down very well. And uh, yeah, again, can't wait to start. And then this one, this is your tree house and it's literally like a little fairy or elf little house. There's the door, you've got your toadstools and then the windows, another toadstool there and then the top of the tree trunk. And then there's the day, the day, the die to cut it out. It says there, hope your day is full of sparkle and believe in magic really really nice all of these as well you can buy separate or as bundles so if you're someone that has maybe like a brother scanning cut and you just like to buy stamps they do have them um you know singly you don't have to buy them all together and the other way around as well you might just want the dies although i can't see why you would because you'd want the detail but anyway <laughs> this here is the toastal house die and this is my favorite along with the next one here i just think they're adorable and um again just so nice to color i think i'm going to use my brush pens to color these ones um so yeah again you'll see them in the, the videos anyway just so nice really big size that one there actually to tell you what it measures you are looking at five and three quarters so that's going to be and then width four and a half that's going to fit nicely onto a five by seven card definitely and then you could go for six by six as well yeah so both both your common sizes there in the UK at least anyway it's definitely going to fit really nicely on that and then this is the other one look at that it's to me as well it's got like a Cinderella the pumpkin it's it is it's that whimsical magical just it's just really really lovely it's got a little heart in the middle of the door there as well it's all those little details that once you start coloring it really comes to life so it says have a magical day believe perfect really really nice and it works across the board for you know boys and girls for adults as well i just think it's really lovely and then i was really excited about these ones this here is going to work so this is your arches it's your stitched nesting arches and it's always that distressed finish that claire does throughout the collection so i have the circles and i have the rectangles so now i've got the arches but also that there is like your fairy door so um, again, I've got some ideas popping into my head now of how to use this, but it's lovely, you know, if you die cut this on like a craft card and distress it, it looks like, you know, it's got that um, aged look or it's maybe cut from, like, it's a piece of wood or something. You can really, you know, if you're clever with your distressing, you can really um, make them look awesome. And then you also got this one here, which is your stitched borders die set. So these here will create really nice edges to your cards 
and they will go up to a 5x7 because it's 7 inches there so your 5x7 cards you can create all these edges on them and then anything smaller than 7 inches as well but also you can create I like to do my um, like underwater themed cards this here could be like waves or like the ripples in the river or something um, and you could cut a few different staggered kind of heights you know cut some different heights and then stagger them and you could have little things popping up you know if you've done it as like a tunnel card diorama kind of card you could have these so they're really cool and again with these other ones so you get a one that actually cuts the edge and then the other one is your stitched detail so then you've got the banner this one is actually been a repeat from another die set that claire brought out i think maybe not wasn't the last one but maybe the one before so it's nice that it's in there because if you didn't have that stamp set maybe you weren't particularly a fan of maybe that design that it was in but you like that one you can buy it within this bundle and then you've got another banner one there as well so it's great for framing like the believe there that will fit nicely in there have a magical day will probably fit in there so um yeah it's really exciting like i can't wait to get cracking i just get so excited all the time i'm just a genuinely genuinely happy person most of the time anyway so yeah there is my wonderful daisy may new release i can't wait to get crafting i'm gonna yeah file all my cardstock away although a lot of these colors I think I'm now going to start using with this collection because I think it's going to work really really well and I'm going to now go in she needs a bit of a clean but go and clean up Chris pop a little ribbon around her neck and uh, let her and Mary um, you know get used to their new home together so <laughs> and enjoy my cup of tea because it's still hot so i'm going to go now hopefully this video has made you smile thank you for watching as always all the links will be shared below and i'll be back again soon with another tutorial see you later bye